only two weeks to go until the season gets underway. It certainly seems to have come around fairly quick, hasn't it? <laughs> well, it depends on where you are. Um, when you're training every day, I certainly want to get to the end of pre-season. Our boys are just about there. We're all nearly fed up with all the, the training and trying to get ourselves ready for um, a big season. So only a couple of weeks to go now. I mean, you've certainly done a lot of business bringing a new face into the squad in the pre-season. Yeah, our guys have, um, the guys that stayed with us from last season um, have come back really uh, refreshed and, you know, I think we were all just hugely relieved that we managed to to stay up. Gosh knows what would have happened. You know, we don't even want to think about it. Um, and the new guys that have come in have, have um, you know, sort of caught the Wakefield bug. We're all uh, working well as a unit. Guys are showing a lot of care and concern for each other, uh, as well as uh, putting in huge efforts. Some of the, the training has just been incredible. The, the guys are really pushing each other and, and you know, as a result, we've got some amazing um, guys in, in amazing condition. So hopefully we can convert that into winning performances. That's the biggest thing for us now. Did you manage to bring everyone in you wanted to? Uh, we knew what we, you know, we, we had to work within our budget. We work on a salary cap level that's uh, much less than all the other clubs, I, I think, certainly against all the, the other uh, uh, top clubs, top eight clubs. So uh, we, we work within that, that restricted budget and we've got some good players and we've already got some great guys and good footy players here in our club before uh, we brought these in. So now it's a matter of uh, getting it all together, getting our guys to to blend together and, and work hard. One of the biggest surprises amongst the fans was Jason Walton. He certainly put in a performance against Featherstone because obviously they're not quite aware of what his talent is. Yeah, to be uh, fair, I had no idea about Jason. I really didn't know uh, anything much about him at all. I'd never seen him play. I watched a little bit of uh, video footage on him and I realised, uh, pardon me, it's freezing here. Um, uh, the the, the um, rap on Jason came from the other guys in our team who some of them were, have been friends with Jay for a, quite a while. So... Um, Jay had some things to attend to in his life and uh, the moment he arrived here and got stuck in, he just nailed it. Um, he's been really exciting to watch and can't wait to see him have a crack at it out there on the, you know, in a proper game. You mentioned just before how all the players came back in refreshed and they seem to be really impressive. Has it been easy to build the momentum up from what happened last season? I think so, yeah, yeah, because of... The fact that, you know, I think we all know how much improvement we've got to find. We've got a, a reprieve, if you like. We got lucky um, that the, the system worked for us. We won the, the million pound game, <coughs> pardon me, and we don't have to go back and start all over again or whatever you have to do when you're in that level. So um, I think everybody is just sort of on a high uh, from that the relief of that and the guys coming in as I say I think they've just caught the bug from the other guys they're, they're a great group of fellas and they get on great together uh, they're e very easy to coach and we're all having a lot of fun as well as doing a lot of hard work at the same time I mean it's obvious just walking around the training ground oh. that everyone is in high spirits it's great yeah it is I mean I've been doing this job for a long time and in most clubs at this point in the season everybody's it expectations are high and and everybody can't wait for the season to get started um, that's that's common everywhere but you know, I think ours is just a fraction uncommon I think we're just a, a, a bit above that that level and I'm as I say it's my responsibility and and, now, and the players now to to start to produce out there on the field and get the right results for us I mean, it's not just the squad that we've built on. We've also got a few new faces to the coaching staff too. A few students have come in and helped out. Oh yeah, we we've got some great contacts. Um, courtesy of the the guys on our staff, uh, we've we've get you know we get lots of people that uh, are trying to get their their student hours, you know, their work hours up and and get some experience. And one guy's even come from Australia to to work with us this year. You know, uh, Shane Nichols and he's part of. Um, uh, my son Keegan Smith's uh, Real Movement project, and uh, he's come here as a 
a bit of a trainee and, and done some fantastic stuff in our, our weight room uh, uh, this season along with uh, Clogger and Martin Corson and, and Lewis. We've got a, a really good um, result out of our, our strength programs this year. I'm really confident that you're going to see uh, a different uh, team this year out there on the field. Lots of young guys who've really put um, some weight on but could become much stronger and hopefully uh, a lot more mobile. You mentioned in the past three different interviews that friendlies are not about winning. What's the main thing you want to achieve from them that people from the outside wouldn't realise? Well, we always still like to win. You can't help yourself if you've got, you've got that winning uh, you know, culture. You, you still like to win, but it, it's sort of, it's just not as important. So um, the things that we're looking for are all the things that we've practised. You want to see if we can actually bring that out in our game. Uh, so, so far in, in the two games, uh, certainly at Leeds on the first, on Boxing Day, our first trial, our guys did a fantastic job with that. They really did. And um, we looked like uh, that stuff we've been practising was within our grasp. You know, we're good enough to do that. And now uh, we get a chance against uh, Cass and uh, we hope we get the, the job done there. They're another uh, team with uh, a lot of skill and um some some um, uh, real teamwork in their group. They've been together for, for some time. So, you know, that's another measurement for us to be able to see just where we're at. We've announced the squad for Sunday. Um, it looks pretty impressive. Is this the squad that you're probably looking to go with for most games or are you still working out formation and who works well with who? Yeah, there's a little bit of that will come out of, out of this game. Uh, but, you know, the core of our guys... Um, our more senior guys are in this group, are playing on, on uh, against Cass. And then we've got another trial on Friday night of next week here at Bellevue. We're playing a touring uh, Indigenous team called the Yowies from uh, Newcastle in uh, New South Wales. So we're pretty excited about that. In fact, uh, Anthony Tupu's brother, Ben's in the the, uh, the other team. So Tupu's has been out there to let him play. He wants to go out. I was a bit worried about family feud or something going on there, but he assures me that... It's just a bit of fun, so we'll see how that goes too. Could make that game very interesting then. <laughs> it might, yeah, you're right. Do you feel like the tempos of the friendlies now will be upped compared to what the others were being so close to the season? And especially on Sunday with a club that we've got a lot of history with. <laughs> yeah, I think if we played a game of backyard cricket on the M62, there'd be people turn up to watch if it's Cass v uh, Wakey. Uh, yeah, and we, we've got close to our our uh, best crew ready to go, and I'm pretty sure Daryl Powell will have the same. So, yeah, I think you're right. It'll the intensity will probably be a little more, um, a little closer to um, Super League standard. Although the, you know the two games that we've played have been quite intense. It's just the weather conditions have made it a bit of a bit of a slog on both occasions. Still a lot of negativity about the club circling in the press. Does it have a knock-on effect with the players if they read it? Um, does it add any pressure on to any of you at all? Oh, yeah, I think that stuff um, is, it can affect uh, particularly younger guys. I think older guys tend not to worry so much about that, but it's just a fact, you know, so we can't, we can't control how other people think and their opinions of us are none of our business, really. It's, it's, it's their business, what they think of of our club or of our, of our team or of us as individuals. So we just got to stick with each other and, and be confident in the work that we've done and, and hopefully we get some, some good early results and all of that will help with confidence because confidence is a, has been an issue here at Wakefield for some time. It's, it's hard to work in the conditions that the guys in this club have, have been working under for so long and retain that, that level of, of confidence. And then when results compound... They lost 17 games in a row last season. You know, the players don't really don't really think too much about what they haven't got. They try hard not to, but eventually, you know, resources, salary cap, all that stuff is a, it is a factor. So it'll, we've got to conquer all those things.